right? So you don't want to lose your money into this multi-million dollars industry. And I do tell people, never in this on this planet will not lose my money in the financial market again. Reason is simply because I know what I'm doing. And this is one of the things I usually do once in a while to make money. I go crazy sometimes to pick any strategy that I like and I trade with it and make money with it. Why is that? I have been preaching with a lot of people that you need to stick to one strategy. Of course, you need to stick to one strategy. But I tell you guys, the more you learn, the more you know, you will get to a, a, a stage whereby when any strategy comes across your way, you'll be able to trade it profitably. So the more you learn, the more you uh, your hand in this business. So, but if you are not new, your hand is not yet strong, stick to one strategy. And of course, if one strategy is, is paying your bill, continue using that strategy. But because I'm an educator, I have to keep trying a lot of things out to see that it works before I bring it out to people, either on paid session or free section as like this. So it's a must. So this is one of the, the strategies I use. And if you have heard about double top and double bottom, please type in yes in the chat. If you have heard about double top and double bottom, type in yes in the chat. If you have not yet heard about it, type no. Okay, good, good, Damien, glad to hear that. Yes, you see, um, we are right at the point in this financial market whereby the era of using bigger stop loss has gone far behind, okay? We have come to a stage whereby you just want to risk something small to get something big. Okay, so this is where risk reward ratio pays a lot of bill. Once you are able to get even three, uh, let, let me even say three out of 10 trades. If three should go in your favor, believe me, you will still be profitable with this strategy. So that is why sniper entry is very, very key during this, uh, at this time, all right? So now let's dive into the whole process. Okay, so what is double top and double bottom? How can we be able to recognize it? How can we be able to know which double top and double bottom is going to hold? This is the question a lot of people need, uh, have been, uh, this is where a lot of people are waiting to get answer but a lot of people think you just you can just pick any double top and double bottom and trade at any point in time. It, yes and no, but the no part of it is bigger than the yes part of it. Why? It is not all the double tops and double bottom you see you want to trade. But for me, I have to tell you guys that the best bet of double top and double bottom, the best time frame you should start looking for them right from this minute after this training is to stick to either four hours and above. Forget about you spotting double top or double bottom on one hour below. Forget about it. It may not, not be as profitable as uh it may not be as pro as profitable as the uh H4 and above. Now, let me quickly explain something to you right there. What is double top? Double top is simply because it's simply where uh, double top is simply, okay, let's talk about double top first. Double top is simply a situation where to, okay, where to, oops, sorry about that. I think I made a mistake right there with, with that drawing. Okay, double top is where you have two areas connecting together. Okay, this symbolizes where you are expecting price reversal. Okay, you can only spot double top when price is about to change direction. And this is why a lot of people don't know. A lot of people just feel, maybe I've heard about double top. 
I've heard about double double bottom. Why is why am I talking about it again tonight? Of course, there are a lot of things you may not know, but I like I said earlier on a few minutes ago, the more you the more you learn, the more you get to understand a lot of things about trading. But believe me, what you've learned about double top last probably last week or last month or last year may quite may be different with what you're going to learn today. If even if they are similar, believe me, there might be one or two things you may want to you may get right today that you think is the key to the reason why you have not been profitable with this chart pattern. So this chart pattern is found everywhere. You can find this right from one minute up to monthly. It's as simple as that. So this only appears when price is ready to, to reverse. Perhaps when price is ready to change direction. So let's assume this is a this is an uptrend, all right? This is an uptrend. But for this to even happen, for this trend to even change to, to downtrend or for it to start ranging, you need a chart pattern. And double toss and double bottom is one of the chart pattern you will see for price to reverse. And this is another thing right here, guys. You may have been here a lot of people talking about liquidity, liquidity graph, right? We have been hearing about liquidity graph. What is liquidity graph? Liquidity graph is when double tops and double bottoms are taken out with a spike. All right. Now, how can you be able to avoid that? To avoid that, you need to stick with H4 and above. Okay. For you to be able to, uh, to avoid it, once again, stick to H4 and above. And now, before a liquidity can be grabbed on H4 or daily, believe me, you must have made a lot of profit. All right? So now let's say this is a double top, right? Now, starting liquidity grab. This is where this is where the source meet. Now, liquidity grab is something that you will see this way. Oops. Something that will come like this, right? Okay, if I'm correct, please type in yes in the chat. Then the next thing you will see is that price will now reverse. All right, this is what, what is called liquidity graph. This spike of its core is what is called liquidity graph. So this alone right here is what is killing a lot of people. When a lot of people start looking to pick this uh, type of chart pattern on lower time frame. All right. So now let's assume you're able to pick this one on daily, okay? For liquid, for this liquidity to be grabbed, believe me, you must have made a lot of profit within this move. So that is why I recommend you to take this on four hours and above, all right? And today we also talk about the sniper entry pad where you can just risk 10 pips, 15 pips maximum to get at least 50 pips, 80 pips. And you agree with me that taking, using 10 pips to get uh, 70 pips, that is a massive profit. That is about uh, risk reward one to seven. That is a massive profit. So and you can only be able to get this type of profit when you stick to four hours and above, all right? Now, this is, let's go back to the basis of uh, double top. Now, we already have this top right here, okay? So how can we be able to spot that this, this double top is going to hold? One of the things we can use is divergence, all right? So we're expecting this move to come up here by default, then the next thing we want to see is for price to come down, all right? So one of the things we want to see right here is to see uh a divergence okay divergence either on stochastic or hard si so if you know how to use divergence please type in divergence in the chat if you know how to use that maybe that's going to be a topic for another time probably next week to complement this training all right so now 
divergence is what is going to tell you this is most likely going to hold to at least 50% of this move. Okay? So at least 50% of this move. All right? So guys, take note of this and believe me, this information I'm sharing with you is what I use day in, day out whenever I feel like trading double tops and double bottoms. All right? So divergence is one of the keys that will tell you that, see, this double top is most likely going to give you at least 15% retracement if ever this is not ready to continue to the downside. At least 50% before the push up will continue. I hope this is very, very clear. So if you know about divergence, please type in divergence in the chat, guys. Type in divergence. If you do not know, type in no. Type in no. So like I said, next week we're going to talk about, we're going to uh, talk about divergence to complement this strategy, all right? So you can have deep knowledge about this. Type in no. If you do not, if you, are, if you don't know about divergence, type in no, or you either type in divergence to confirm that you know how you know how divergence works all right somebody said no i'm waiting for all that guys I want to hear from at least few people before we will we, we, or before i move on now this is it this area right here this area this is where you want to start looking for your entry or oh since everybody or uh, none of you don't none of you know about this Okay, so don't worry, guys. Divergence is what we're going to talk about next week. Okay, so now, as we expect double top to form, the moment this move comes into this, the same level as this, all right, that is when you want to start looking for a trade. And it does not really matter if this has to go up a little bit, all right? Let's even say it goes up above this, this level, it goes up a little bit like this. It is still double top, right? And if it's on the same level, it is still double top. I hope you understand that. So double top is what we want to see the next move to come to the same level with the previous eye. This is the previous eye. So we're waiting for the next move to come into the same level, okay? And it do, like I said a few, few seconds ago, it does not matter if this goes above this. Okay, let's say we have it this way. It is still double top, all right? So now around this area, once price comes into the same level as this, all right, you want this is where you want to start looking out for a trade at this same level, at this same level of all right, horizontal. All right, that is where you want to start looking out for a trade. And how can we be able to get a sniper entry? We want to take our entry on five minutes, 15 minutes don't go lower than don't go higher than 15 minutes okay but i advise you can take it on five minutes and if you are more experienced you can even take it on one minute or three minutes but i recommend five minutes okay so this area this is where you want to start looking for a trade i'm going to share something with you today this is what i normally share with a lot of paid uh a lot of paid members, but I'm going to share that with you today because uh, the reason uh, we have this training is just for you to be able to uh, to make money. So now around this area is where we want to look out for a trade. All right. So now the moment price touches this area, this same level, what you want to do is to switch on to lower time frame. Now let's assume this is on four hours, right? Let's assume we also have this one on four hours. The moment this one comes into this level, okay, and it does not matter, remember, if it goes above, what you are waiting for is to come into the same level. So once it touches the same level, switch down to lower time frame, like 15 minutes or five minutes. You want to pick, you want to wait for your price reversal candlestick pattern, like, uh, like uh, uh, a pin bar, you want to wait for a bearish and golfing candlestick. Now, the sniper entry strategy around this place is simply because uh, it's just that 
you don't want to wait for candlestick pattern alone. No. You see, the error of using candlestick pattern alone, right? Here, that is the general belief. And that is why a lot of people are losing that right here. And that is why you will see a lot of people using a big stop loss, like 30 pips, 20 pips. Now, if you're waiting to use the right, uh, the, the, the general rules, which says look for a candlestick pattern. Now, if you want to look for a candlestick pattern, it may have dropped down to this place on four hours, right? A candlestick pattern that will tell you to go in may have dropped down to this place. And now your entry will be here. Immediately this candle closes, then your stop loss is going to be here Why your target is going to be somewhere here. It's going to be somewhere here. And you never can tell this might not go as far as this. It may come to this level, then reverse to the upside, then reverse to the upside. Okay, so now you can see the distance between here and here, and between here and this place is not even enough to risk reward one to one. Okay, but for the sniper entry around this place, you may have uh, 10 pips stop loss, eight pips stop loss. And if price now move within here to this place, then that means you may have gotten around 30 pips. Risking five pips or seven pips, that may have given you about eight pips, uh, sorry, one to five, one to four, which is much better than one to one. Now, let's go back, let's go back a little bit, guys. Around this place, once you see that price has touched this place, what do you want to look out for? You want to look out for a structure on lower time frame on five minutes. What kind of structure do you want to look out for? You want to see a structure like this, all right? A structure like this, a structure like this. So you want to see a structure like this on lower time frame on five minutes, all right? So now once you see something like this that, okay, this structure, okay, let me draw it right here around this place. Now let's say it has touched right here, you see? Price comes down. Just hold on, guys. Let me try to. Oops. Let me try to widen it so that you can see it better. Oops. Just hold on. Okay. So you want to see something like this on lower time frame. So now, once you see something like this, the next thing you want to see is that you want to target put your entry price right here all right remember this is going to be on lower time frame it's going to be on lower time frame so the distance between here and this place most of the time will not be more than 12 pips most of the time it will not be more than 12 pips so you want to wait for price to come back to this place then continue its move to the downside so once price Sorry guys, trying to I'm trying to enlarge this so that you can see it perfectly well. So once price comes into this place, this is where you put your pending order. Sell limit, okay? Remember, this is what we have. This is what we have. Price has come down, okay? Now another move went up and this one came down, break this structure. The moment you see that this one has broken the structure, this has confirmed to you that more downside is ready to happen now once you see something like this that this structure has been broken it does not matter how far or how little it is but what you want to see is that a candle has closed a red candle has closed below this let's say we have something like this little like this so once you see something like this on lower time frame immediately you put your pending order sell limit right on this at this spot right here Okay, at the last high, right there, the last high on lower time frame. So you are expecting, you are expecting price to retrace back up. Okay, once you put your uh, penny on right idea, your stop loss is going to be just two pips above this high, above this place. This is your stop loss. So you 
put your pending order right here, expecting price to come up right here, okay? To fill your order, then continue to the downside. Believe me, guys, this is one of the secrets of trading. I have no reason to hide anything from you guys. The only challenge we have with the, with the free trading is that we are time limited. So we go deeper, deeper with the with the paid session. We go deeper and deeper and deeper, and there is room for more explanation and questions, and there is room for uh, assignments when it comes to the paid session. So you're going to go for your assignment, submit your assignment, then we see if you get it right. That is what that we don't have the opportunity with the free section. Okay. So with our pay session, you're going to get something, a lecture, deeper lecture like this with assignment. You submit your assignment and we see that, okay, you've been able to get it right. We place you on, uh, on peers. So you're going to do work on that peers and submit your assignment. Then we'll review it. If you get it right, we applaud you. And if you need some correction, we correct you until you get it right. And that is why a lot of my students, are, you know, they're doing good. And to the glory of God. So, guys, this is what you need to see on lower time frame before you go in. Okay. The general, like I said, the general belief is for uh, is uh, uh people said is is for you to see a candlestick pattern right here before you enter. But most of the time, when you see the candlestick pattern, market makers may use the candlestick pattern to pull a lot of people in into the trade. Then the next thing you see is that. Price will just continue to uh, continue pulling up to take a lot of people out of the trade. All right. I hope this is very very clear to you. If this is a, this explanation is very very clear to you, please type in clear in the chat, guys. Type in clear in the chat before we go into the main chat to look at this. I like to explain one part of any strategy so you can use the reverse side of it to work on the other aspect okay waiting for other questions if this is very very clear please type in clear in the chat type in clear i want to hear from you guys type in clear if this is very very clear to you still waiting for other responses Sorry guys, I need to sip some water. Okay, since I have only a few people with me, but that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, you're just joining us, just keep flowing. So this is one of the things you need to learn, okay? The hard part of it is this, but if you understand market structure, believe me, this is not hard. It is not all about practicing. But even if this is only this is the only thing you learn, um, uh, you learn and master it, there is no way you will not make money in the market because double tops and double bottoms are everywhere. Okay, on all the 36 uh, pairs we have, there's no way you will not find three in a week, even on four hours, right, on, across all the pairs. So guys, this is what you need to look out for. So let's look at which of the, let's look out for a double tops, Okay, I think I've seen one. This is this is one. We have double tops right here. We have another double top right here. But we'll take the most accurate one. Another double top is about to form right here. Look at this. Look at, let's make use of this example. Look at a push up. 
a push up, all right? A push down. Okay, so we're expecting this move to come up to this place. Okay, at the same spot with this. This is where we are expecting this to come to. So once this, the moment this one comes here and touch this area, price comes up and touch the same level as this. This is when we want to start looking out for a trade on five minutes. Okay, on five minutes, on the worst case scenario, if price comes up to this place, the minimum is going to do, trust me, the minimum is going to do is, is going to do 38.2%, uh, which is something like this. Now, on lower time frame, believe me, you will not see some, okay, let's try to measure it. This is FIP. Okay, 38.2 is going to be somewhere here. Somewhere here, the minimum is going to do, but a lot of time it will do 50%. 60% of the time, the retracement is going to be 60, it's going to be 50%. But the minimum is going to do is going to be something like this. Okay, so now let's say you catch your trade right here. Right, if uh, we're, we're talking about the sniper entry strategy, there is no way you will not. Your stop loss is not going to be more than five pips, seven pips, maximum 12. So if you, if you catch it somewhere here, now let's see down to this place, 20 pips, and you use five pips stop loss or seven pips, that's ratio one to three on a worst case scenario. So this is the reason why I said you want to start looking out for this on lower time frame and sorry, on higher time frame. This and this is where liquidity graph happens. You see, a lot of market makers know that around this place, this is where you are looking forward to take a trade. All right. This is their general belief. So once market comes into this place, you see something like this. Okay. A candlestick pattern telling you that, yes, you should go in. Market is ready to go in. It's ready to keep dropping. Now you enter right here after the candlestick pattern. You put your stop loss right here. All right. The next thing you're going to see from the market makers is this, a spike up, liquidity graph, okay? So eat all these stop loss out. Then right after that, price will continue to go in your direction. Then you will now say, why, why, why? You predicted right, but why uh, did the trade hit stop loss? It's because of the liquidity graph, but trust me, on lower time frame, when you are able to look out for something like this, okay, on lower time frame, it will be very, very rare for liquidity grab to come and take you out. It, it does not happen a lot of time. Once in a blue moon, that is when it happens. So you want to look out for something like this right around this place before you go in, all right? I hope this is very, very clear. So this is an area you may look out for a good example once market opens tonight. So you may see this before the end of uh, tomorrow. So take note of that. So let's look out for the past ones that has happened. Okay, let's make use of this area. Then we can go back to five minutes to look out for the same sniper entry. Now, this is a move an uptrend, a drop, all right? Now, we're expecting price to come to this same level before we see a reversal, all right? Now, this is it, guys. This is an area of interest, okay? This is an area of interest where we expect price to come into. Now, price has come into this area. Look at, it dropped. Before this drop, we never can tell if price is going to drop. We never can tell. We never can tell. So that is why using sniper entry on this chart pattern works a lot. All right. Even if price re retraces a bit, you may you uh you probably should have taken some profit before the reversal. Even if you have not taken some profit price will move in at least 15 pips 
So with that alone, you should have at least break, break even, which means protecting your capital. And if price now comes back up to eat you out, then it means you did not lose anything and you did not gain. That is what break even is all about. So now let's look at this place. So the moment price comes into this place, that is when we will start looking out for a trade. Let me put in this vertical line. Then we can switch to five minutes or 15 minutes to look out for a trade. So let's switch to 15 minutes around this level. This level to look out for a trade. If I switch to five minutes, it will be too far. Price may not load to that level. Look at on five on, around this place, we're waiting for something uh, price to come up here. Then start looking out for the sniper entry. Let me scroll back in time. Back to, okay, good. You can see, have the opportunity to switch to five minutes. Now you can see the moment price touches this area. Take a, take a great look, guys. Take a great look. You can see price went up. Look at this touch. We have a touch right here, but it's not so clear. But price does not come to break any low. But this was the right touch. Immediately we have this touch. Look at what we have. On lower time frame, if you go deeper on five minutes, you will see a break of structure right here. Let's let me see if I can go to five minutes. Let me see if I can go to five minutes if price is going to load. It's going to substantiate any claim so you can see. You just need to learn one thing. If you're still coming up, you just need to learn one thing, stick to it. As time goes on, you're going to perfect it and learn more. Then you can be able to make more money. I'm not thinking, I don't think this is, is, is going to load anymore. It's not loading again. Okay, we've gone too far. So let's go back to 15 minutes. Okay, so now look at it. Immediately it happens, switch to five minutes. If it is not so clear on five minutes, go to 15 minutes. Look at this area, guys. We have a break of structure right here. I'm going to draw it out so you can understand. Okay. Price touches uh, the area right here. It went up. Look at this is immediately touches this level around this uh, horizontal line. That is when we want to start looking, looking out for the structure. Came down. If you should switch this to five minutes, you will see it very, very clear. It's because we do not have the opportunity to switch to five, and that is why we do not, it is not so clear. And look at, we have another double top right here. On lower time frame, a type or this is just what you need. We are seeing a double top on higher time frame. Now it's happening on lower time frame. This tells us that price is reversing. It's reversing on lower time frame, on higher time frame, I beg your pardon. Now on the same spot where we are expecting it to reverse on higher time frame, the same formation is still happening. This is what we have right here. Another double top on smaller time frame. This is another confirmation. Now you can see you don't want to enter yet because this one may keep going up. You don't want to enter yet. Okay. Now you want to wait for break of structure. What is where is the structure? You want to wait for this low to get broken. Okay. Look at this low got broken. Even this next low right here also got broken. You can see price came down right here. Look at the next thing that happened was that price went up to this place. All right. Right from there, price dropped. Oops. Price dropped. When you see, Guys, around this area, if you should go to five minutes, you will see exactly what I draw right here. Oops. Coming. Let me try to uh, show you something. 
don't have the privilege to scroll to five minutes, but you will see this level right here, this one right here. You will see it right here on five minutes. This place, you will see it when you switch to five minutes on the same time, on the same pair, you will see this place. You can see it's not so clear on 15 minutes, but you will see it so that that is the area you have to put your pending order. Or better still, you can use the last engulfing that appears within that area. So let me go back to that level. You can, you can even use the last engulfing area, guys. Okay, where is the last engulfing? This area. So this area is where you have this kind of structure that I just showed you right here. Okay, so when you switch to five minutes, you see the structure right here. So you want to target that either the, the last uh, engulfing candlestick area or the tip of the structure, either of the two. Then you put your pending order right here. You can see price went back into the same engulfing area, okay? Put in your pending order, your stop loss is gonna be above here, okay? How many people is that? Let's try to measure it between here and this place. That's about 13 pips. There's about 13 pips. Now look at how far price went before this reversal. Enter right here. Price dropped in about 104 pips. That is well over one to eight, guys. If this is making sense to you, please type in sense. And look at, before the, we even see this big reversal, price dropped in about over 100 pips, which is more than one to eight. That is more than enough for you guys to make money with. Now, let's even say price now reversed from here and continue moving up. Have you made good money right here or not? Huh? Look at it. You have made your good money right here. Nothing is going to stop you. If you take your time properly, even on four hours, you will see nothing less than three to four of this every week across all the pairs. And now you can see price even went as far as, you know, going below the low. So 50% of this move is going to be your first take profit hoping that price will drop in 50%. Why your next take profit is going to be here. You can see right from here, price dropped in uh, over 154 pips. And this is this place right here is going to be your second target. Why 50% around this place is going to be your first target? A lot of time, you will even see tighter stop loss, like eight pips, 10 pips, guys. This is all you need. You do not need more. Stop hunting for what is not working out there. Patience is the, is, is the problem a lot of people are facing, most, most especially the newbies and the intermediates. Believe me, I've, I've been there, done that, and I'm sharing all these things with you because I have passed through all of them. All right? So that is it, guys. If you have gained some value with this, please type in value. Type in value. Now look at this, another one right here. We have a move. This strategy I'm sharing with you works on uh, either ranging market or trending market. It works on anything because that is where you find double tops and double bottom. Now, look, this is a move. All right. And you agree with me that between here and this place, we have a range. Okay. Around this place, we have a range. This is a range market. Okay, this is a range market. Now, price came down. Oops. Came down. Went up to this place, but it does not come to come near the top. Okay. Came down again, and price went up to the same level as this. So immediately, price comes into this place. That is when you want to start looking out for your sniper entry. All right? Take a look at this, guys. Around this place, look at if you should 
six to five minutes or 15 minutes, you are taking your entry around here on this green candle. That is when your entry should have happened on five minutes. Now, if you are taking your entry right here, let's even count the move. You've seen about 40 pips or 38 pips. If you are risking about around 10 pips, that is ratio one to four before the reversal. And now after the reversal to this place, you still have the move, the same move to the downside. Okay, so it's as simple as that, guys. It's as simple as that, guys. So let me know if you have gained some value with this before I share the other part with you, but I'm not going to spend much time on the other part, which is the double bottom. We've been sharing about, talking about double top. So let's talk about double bottom also so that I can have more understanding about this. Type in value in the chat if you have gained some value. See how 15 minutes more to spend with you guys because uh, our Sunday's class is carved one hour. Type in value if you have gained some value, guys. Type in value in the chat if you gain some value. And if you have some question, please. You may want to signify or type in here. Yeah, probably I can bring you up to ask your question for the benefit of others. So we can treat that together. So let me know, let me know. Type in value in the chat if you have gained some value. All right, that's fine, that's fine. So let's keep moving. So guys, uh, the only thing I want to visit you guys is just for you to try this out on demo, okay? And if you understand market structure, this is going to help you. So you want to look out for the market structure on lower time frame, and don't start looking out for this on lower time frame, okay? You want to spot H4 or daily double top or double bottom first before you start looking out for the sniper entry on lower time frame okay please don't get it twisted and don't mix things up this works i i tell you so now let's go to double bottom so double bottom is just is the opposite side of this all right in all my session and even in the paid class i like to emphasize on one part of the trading because we only have two parts we either have buy and sell okay so i either talk more about buy or sell entry all right so when you have good understanding about that you can use it in the reverse side but it is important we talk about it all right um probably believe me so soon we'll not be putting the videos on the on the youtube again because i know a lot of people after this class after every sunday's class believe me i do have more than 15 dm asking when will the video be, when is the video going to be hard which means a lot of people are also waiting for the video to be asked so it's even better for us to record the video it takes lesser time to record the video and put it on youtube than to be in class. But believe me, being uh, attending the live session is more better than watching the videos on YouTube. There's nothing anyone wants to teach you that you cannot find similar thing on YouTube. But the mentorship aspect of this is what you cannot find. That is just it. The video will be available on YouTube, but I can't say probably upper week, or well, this is what, I want, what, I, what we will be doing once we record any session, we won't put it on YouTube until after two weeks. This is simply because to encourage others to be here and also to also crown your own personal effort for being here. Because for you to be here, it shows that you really, really want to learn. You're ready to learn. And we only want to work with those who are ready to learn. All right? So that is just not someone who will just, you know, waste all our effort to watch video and end it that way okay our assumption is just for you to learn this put it into practice and make the best uh make use of it for your own benefit not just to teach you and forget it and dump it no that's not what we want if that is what we want we won't be here every sunday all right so now let's talk about the 
uh, double bottom. So you want to see a preceding downtrend, all right? A preceding downtrend, then a push up, all right? In as much as this push up, remember, has not even gone above this one, okay? This is where price was coming from. This is the last eye. So let's say we have it this way. Let's say we have it this way. This is the last eye, all right? And price came down to this level. In as much as this move, okay, has not gone above this one. All right, remember, we have it this way. And we have another move. So the moment price is coming down to this place, then this is going to be your area of interest. All right, you quickly want to mark it and put in your horizontal line. This is going to be your area of interest as price is coming down gradually, gradually. So the moment price eats this place, all right? The moment it eats this place, then you're ready to go. You're good to go, all right? So that is when you want to go in and looking for a sniper entry. If Even if this is ready, this one is ready to keep going down. The moment price comes into this place, if price is ready to continue to the downside, most of the time, 70% of the time, okay, it will go back, it will go back like this, 50%. So give you 50% of this move before you now see this break of structure. All right? Before you see this break of structure. And if you see that, Immediately, the, this break of structure happened this way. This tells you that that is not more a double top, a double bottom. Then you want to take your eye of all this pair for that strategy. I hope you understand. You want to take your eye of this pair for that strategy and look out for something else. And how can you validate this area that this place is going to happen in double, double board? Uh, Double bottom is going to happen right here. When you see a slow movement, you see that price is not coming down aggressively to this place. That is when you should start looking out for, and that is another tip that tells you that this place is going to hold, coupled with divergence. So divergence is one of the number one thing you want to look out for that will confirm to you that, okay, double top, double bottom or double top is ready to hold. Okay, like I said, next week, about double uh, divergence to complement this strategy. Okay, so you want to use double uh, divergence to give you extra confirmation that double bottom or double top is going to hold. So the moment price comes into this place, go into lower time frame. Okay, and look out for something like this. All right. Remember, this is going to be a lower time frame. Look out for something like this. Okay. So you see something like this, which means this structure has been broken on lower time frame. It tells you that this place is already is already holding. <clears throat> but if you do not see something like this, it tells you that price is ready to continue, it may continue to the downside. But when you see something like this on lower time frame, Believe me, 80 to 85% of the time, price will reverse 50% of this move. If ever, price is not, is not ready to continue to the upside. So when you see something like this on lower time frame, this area is where you're gonna put in your pending order, all right? Your, uh, your buy limits. So I'm trying to enlarge it for you guys. This is where you will put your buy limit, all right? And your stop loss is going to be right here. Just two pieces below this last eye, all right? And you enjoy your profit to the upside. Most of the time, like I said, I'll keep saying it, you will cut a sniper entry. 10 pips, 7 pips, 5 pips, there are... If uh, you get to a level that 
your experience will be more wide and you can even take three pip stop loss when you take three pip stop loss and you are able to cash your 21 pips move in your favor that is ratio one to seven you are done with that pair just close your trade and look for another one if you are able to cash three of that in a week even two you are good to go and you risk two percent and you risk two percent that's about 28 and you are able to win two trades that give you one to seven that is about 28 percent in a week with just two trades but a lot of people want to trade every time a lot of people want to trade every time that is why the disaster is coming to them time to time i'll keep saying it i can never ever trade manually again and lose it's not possible it's not possible if i lose this week next week i know i'm going to recover it back even in double okay well the irony of market is just that you will win some and lose some but when you look what you're doing most of the time you will win all right so guys this is what you want to look out for on lower time frame all right i hope this is very very clear so let's look out for this type of structure on on the in the chart okay let me try to see if i can find one look at this place right there we have a double double bottom right here but now it's filled if you should check this place right on five minutes you will see that there is no break of structure to the upside all right around this place you see that there's no break of structure to the upside. Now let's look out for something much clearer. I don't want to go too far so that we have the opportunity to to shoot to five minutes. We can see stay on for another ten minutes before we call this section a day. Another five to ten minutes maximum. Okay, probably let's look out for another pair. These are my all the, these are all the pairs I'm looking out for trades to come up on them. Oh, let's check another pair. Looking out for double, double bottom. Looking out for a perfect example, guys. But I really like to talk more about one aspect of the of a chart, so you can use the reverse side to understand the level very well. Oh, okay. We don't have. Let me look out for another chart quickly, guys. The aim is just for you to understand every bit of information we are going to share with you. Okay, right here we have a double double bottom right here. Let's make use of this. It's not too far. Okay, now look at this. We have a preceding uptrend. Okay, this is another thing, guys, that can help you a lot. We have a preceding uptrend, a big uptrend. This is why it pays to look out for this on higher time frame. We have a preceding uptrend down from here to this place. We are assuming price is going up, right? Remember. Price came down again, went up. You can see this one, this move right here. Price went up to this place. But this one does not go up right here immediately to break this one. It stopped right here. The next thing that happened was that price dropped. So the moment is dropping, this area becomes the area of interest for you. It becomes the area of interest. So sometimes you may see that price is going to break and continue to the downside. All right. But this area becomes the area of interest for you because price is going up already. So you start looking out for this area. 
if this place is going to get broken, believe me, you will see the structure on lower time frame. You will not see the structure, the break of structure on lower time frame. It will just come down and break it and continue to the downside. I hope this is very, very clear. So now this area becomes the area of interest. At this level, now let's look out for a structure on this at this level. Let me try to mark it out and switch to 15 minutes. Because it will be too far. If I switch to five minutes, you may not be able to get the data. You may not be able to get the data if I should switch back in five minutes. Okay, good, great. Look at, oh, thank God, you can see this. Okay, guys, look at this. Look at this. You see all of this area, look at a structure is being given right here. Okay, the same structure I just drew to you. You can see market came to this place. Look at, right from here, came down, went up again. Okay, came down. If price is, this place is not ready to hold, this one will continue going, continue to the downside. If this area is not ready to hold, this one right here will continue to the downside. Look at. Okay, a structure being created right here. Okay, now this one came down to this place at the same area. So now on lower time frame, we are looking out for the break of structure. Look at it went up right here to break this one. To break this one. Now it's break, it broke it. So you like I said, you can if it is not so clear to you, look out for the nearest engulfing. Right here, so you can see we have multiple engulfing area. Just pick the one that that corresponds with this one, or according to what I do earlier on on the chart. So now you can see, right from there, price just what happened right now. You have taken your trade around this level. Take your trade around this level. Your stop loss few pieces below this. This is too wide anyway. But on lower time frame, you can still cast something like that right around this place. All right. The more you uh you practice, the more you understand, and the more you be able to learn with this. Now you can see price came back to the same area, and now what happened? Price went up without any delay. Went up as far as uh 100 pips, and you have risking about. 20, 20, 20 something pips, uh, about 24 pips. This is too wide, it's too wide. It's, uh, this is not so snipe, it's not sniper entry. But believe me, on lower time frame around this place, you will see something like that on five minutes between here and here that tells you that it's going to go up. All right. So, if this is super clear to you guys, everybody, I want you to type in clear, clear, clear. If this is clear, type in clear in the chat. Type in clear. If you have any question, please let's have it in the chat. If you have any question, please put it to the chat. Mr. George, by the grace of God, we'll try to put the, uh, according to your question, we'll try to put the video on the channel as far as possible. But make sure you're always here whenever we, we are having a training so you can enjoy the vibe from the beginning. So still waiting for others response. So we can call the session a day. Let me know if this is clear to you guys. And if you demand any question, type it in the chat. Somebody's raising his hand. have any question put it in the chat i can bring you up to ask the question all right no problem mr george okay i assume this is super clear to every one of us so i super celebrate you guys for being here today super celebrate you for being here today next week by the grace of god we're going to continue with this strategy so you want to be here we're going to continue with the 
divergence, all right? So divergence is just to complement this strategy, just to tell you that this, uh, the double top and double bottom is going to hold, okay? So divergence is one of the, the two, uh, sorry, um, I mean, what is it called? RSI divergence and stochastic divergence, they are one of, you can use either of the two to confirm if this is going to hold. And believe me, that is going to help you a lot to filter out double top or double bottom that is ready to hold. And 80, 90% of the time when you spot divergence, it will deliver. Okay, most especially on higher time frame like four hours and above. Before price thinks, uh, think of reversing, to hit you out, you must have you know, taken some profits with the sniper entry. So the sniper entry is the joy of it that makes it more possible for people to catch it, all right? So if you really want to learn more and you want to be part of our uh, students, probably you want to take your course from the beginning. We have a uh, huge course awaiting you guys at a ship up, uh, enrollment price okay so guys if you want to take that we have over 20 videos ready with each of them over two hours minimum so you can imagine what you're going to get over two hours video what you're going to get in each, each session all right and aside that there's going to be a mentorship for you one month mentorship after your videos that uh you and i can be together you learn more ask your question they will be able to put you through and put you on the right track so guys thank you so much for being here today i celebrate you guys and i super appreciate uh your zeal to learn all right and it does not stop there guys believe me keep practicing whatever you've learned the value you are getting right here is the same value you're getting with the paid with the paid uh class with some little different all right so thank you so much guys thank you so much i'll see you guys on the group and i'll know today i know a lot of people will come on the session i will ask you to do one little thing but i know only one or two people may do this i don't care if you really really enjoyed this today's class guys if truly you really enjoy it and you learn something valuable let's go on our telegram group and typing whatever you, you've learned all right we have a lot of people on the in the class right now but i know only one or two people we have the courage to put to put the same uh comment on the group if what you've learned today is not valuable to you please let's put it on the group this will only help us to sit up and you know to buckle up to see where we're not getting it right then we'll come up with something really amazing to better our teaching so so thank you so much guys for being here I'll see more of you guys on the group i celebrate you bye bye for now and happy new week bye bye and god bless